higher gasoline prices have been tops on many consumer confidence surveys, but is it actually having an effect on what consumers are doing when it comes to shopping? Brian Sazi is here with a look at that important question. Saz, uh, what are we seeing? Very pressing indeed, Julie. Uh, some new data out of the folks over at Placer.com. AI, and they are tracking, in this case, uh, retail foot traffic. So re <laughs> there you have it on that foot traffic chart. My team, the team never surprises me, uh, never ceases to surprise me, Julie, but uh, they are <laughs> noting that overall retail visits declined by 4.3% for the week ended March 7th. That is, of course, uh, according to Placer.ai. Now, retail visits for the week ended March 14th, the most recent uh, week they have data for, only picked back up slightly. And of course, this comes at a time where we're hearing warnings from retailers this morning, Tempur-Pedic, uh, a Tempur Sealy, uh, yesterday, a restoration hardware. So it does look like those trips uh, to the local mall, the local retail store, are be, in fact being cut with gas prices where they are. And we are seeing some interesting action too, Julie, just in terms of how some retail stocks performing. I look at Dollar Tree. Stock has been uh, up 14% in the month of March, just red hot. Walmart shares up 8% uh, in the month too. Now, by the same token, you're seeing Target shares under a little bit of pressure here. So the, at least the market has gravitated to a lot of those value-based names like a Walmart or in Dollar Tree, where you could see uh, consumers trade down to. But by and large, and, and we've been talking about it all week, uh, this is ultimately a perfect environment, and this is my take for today, perfect environment for Costco. Costco should just probably crush it in this type of environment. The stock hit a 52-week high yesterday, and there I am holding a Costco gas pump, uh, because why not? Uh, they should benefit from really two things. They operate hundreds of gas stations across this country. They are the last, in many cases, to raise gas prices in their town. And then secondarily, uh, as we have been discussing, they are very likely to raise their membership fees uh, in a couple months, which could really boost their top and bottom lines.